I'd like to tell you about a little trick involving proportionality that's very handy in working with when a lot of times when you're doing Bayesian inference and you need to compute a posterior distribution then there's a little trick involving proportionality that's very useful so you may be familiar with what proportionality is we usually write using this symbol but I'll define it here just to be to be concrete so this is just notation f a function f is proportional to g rewrite that proportional to the sort of tweezers symbol here if f of x or let me say it this way g of x same thing equals some constant times f of x for all x and for some so that's some constant c and c is not equal to zero so that's all this means and we say that f is proportional to g and since c is non-zero then you can move this you know put one over c instead on this side and so so this is this is this also implies that g is proportional to f f is proportional to g g is proportional to f same thing so there's a little trick you can do here so i claim it's just, it's just a simple thing but we'll verify it and so if f is a let's say it's a, a pdf same you know it all works for a you know like a pmf or something else and f is proportional to g some function g then g uniquely determines uniquely determines f and in fact f of x equals g of x divided by the integral over all x of g of x and we, we usually call this thing the normalizing constant so sometimes people say that g in this case is an unnormalized well if it's you know if g is non-negative like if c with c is positive g is non-negative then you, you might say that sometimes people say this is an unnormalized distribution and then as long as you can integrate it you know as, as long as it's integrable and then then this is called the normalizing constant so this is just pretty easy to to verify we'll just give a a little a little proof here so since f is proportional to g then that means we can by our definition g of x equals some constant times f of x for all x and let's just check that well, well we can just as long as all we have to do is is verify this this identity and it's pretty easy to do so let's say so let's just let's just write it out g of x divided by this integral dx and if we plug in this expression the integral of c times f of x so it's c of x c times f of x divided by the integral of c times f of x the c comes out by linearity of integration and so it just it just cancels then the denominator after we take out this take away the c in you know since f is a, a pdf then it integrates to one so the the denominator is one and this is just oh i guess we that's this is what we were trying to prove we well i put it this way f of x equals so i should have said we we didn't know this we were trying to trying to prove that and that equals f of x so we verify we verify that this in, is indeed the case. So we can check that off. So that's just a just a simple fact. And you know, if you had you know, you could have any other function h that was proportional to f and it would have a different different constant here, but the constant always cancels and you you end up with f just the same. So that's just a simple little little fact, but it's extraordinarily handy. It's a, it's a lot. It's a big time saver when you're when you're doing when you're working with 
with um, trying to compute posterior distributions and such.